Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you, my dear students, grade 5 students? Welcome to English class and last video for this year the enrichment exercises answers. <clears throat> In this video, we are going to revise and practice more on language functions, matching the questions, the first question in the exam. Also, we'll practice on reading and the comprehension, also grammar, and finally, vocab and writing. First question in the exam is the matching question uh, type, read and match, number one. This is a matter. Of course, I've got a toothache, headache, a uh, stomach ache, uh, I sprained my ankle, uh, my back hurts. Number two, what did Sammy do yesterday? We need something in the past. Of course, he cleaned his room. Number three, what does a driver do? As a part of his job, he drives cars. What about playing tennis? What do you think? Give me your opinion. Great idea. Next one. What did Thomas Edison invent? He invented the light bulb. Uh, would you like to go to the cinema? with me accept or refuse sure why not who is the pilot a pilot is a person or someone someone flies a plane what are you going to do next week i'm going to the park will you please help me asking for help you accept or you refuse of course i will how many chairs are there? Asking about number. So it's five. How do I get to the hospital? Giving the directions. Go straight, then turn right. Where will Omar go tonight? Asking with where. So your answer should be a place to the mall. What is the matter? Again, I'm tired. Let's play volleyball. Give me your opinion. Great idea. What time do you sleep? Give me a time at nine o'clock. Where did you go yesterday? Tell me about the place I visited my uncle. Next, we have reading and comprehension. Let's read the text together. And after that, we will go to the questions in the next slide. Hassan is 17 years old. His favorite school subject is history because he is interested in reading about Qatar's past. He also loves animals. Every Friday, he goes walking in the desert. He takes photographs of birds and animals. Sometimes he has to wait for a long time to take a photograph, but he is very patient. Patient means he can wait and he is willing to do so. His favorite animal is the oryx. Next year, he's going to take his last school exam. If he passes, he's going to go to university to study about animals. He wants to be a zoologist. Zoologist comes from the word zoo, so it's something related to animals. Zoologist actually is a scientist who studies animals. His friend Ali is 16 years old. He is quite friendly and hardworking. He knows lots of people and he passed all his exams last year. At school, he is good at languages. He is not very good at science or mathematics. When he leaves school, he is going to study English at university. After that, he is going to take advanced translation exams because he wants to be a translator. Let's see the questions. Next page, after we had understood everything in this passage about Hassan and his friend Ali. First question is, what's Hassan's dream job? Dream job means what does he want to be in the future? Of course, he wants to be a zoologist. Number two, what is Hassan's favorite subject? Mm -hmm. Very good, it's English. What does Hassan take photos to or photos of? He takes photos of mm -hmm, birds and animals. This is his interest. Where is Ali going to study English? Mm -hmm. He is going to study English at university. What does Ali went, uh, want to be? After graduating from the university, wants to be a translator. Next, we have a passage about spiders. This one is informative. 
passage giving information about types and spiders. Spiders are very strange creatures. They have got eight legs and 48 knees. There are two main kinds of spiders. They are running spiders and jumping spiders. Most spiders can't see very well, but all running and good, uh, have good eyesight. In fact, Scientists think that jumping spiders can see better than we can. Running spiders never stay still or in the same place for a very long time. There are lots of different types of running spiders, and they are all very fast. Like all spiders, running spiders make silk for the web. However, they don't use it to create webs or catch prey. Running spiders don't need webs. They are very good hunters. They run after their prey and they catch it easily. And most of the time, their prey doesn't even see them coming. Jumping spiders are very good at jumping. Like running spiders, jumping the spiders sleep in little tents, which they also make from silk. They like sunny weather, so they hunt during the day. Jumping the spiders don't create webs because they jump on their prey to catch it. They plan their jumps very carefully. During the jump, the spider spins a piece of silk starting from the place it jumps from. This is like a rope, and it keeps the spider safe from falling and helps it climb back up to its home again. So that was a very interesting passage about spiders running and jumping. Let's see the questions in the next page. What is the text mainly about? It was mentioned in the first line. It was about strange creatures or the spiders. What does the underlined word create mean? Create means to make. Very good. Make webs or make silk. How many knees have spiders got? In the first paragraph, how many asking about number? How many knees? It's 48 knees. Where do jumping spiders sleep? Sleep in tents, in little tents. Why don't the jumping spiders create webs to hunt? Because, mm -hmm, because they jump on their prey to catch it. They are very good hunters. Next passage. It's about earthquakes. Another informational passage. Earthquakes are the shaking of the ground when energy is released in waves. These waves are called seismic waves. These waves are similar to ocean waves, which move through water. Seismic waves, however, move through the ground. Most earthquakes are caused by the movement of large sections of the Earth's crust, called plates. The place where two plates meet is called a fault, fault line. Faults look like large cracks in the ground. If the two plates move in different directions, they build up energy at the fault line. When enough energy builds up, the stress on the fault becomes too great and it ruptures. This releases the energy and the ground starts to shake. The first movement of an earthquake called the main shock. This is often followed by smaller ground trembles called aftershocks. These aftershocks are the plates settling into their new position. Aftershocks can continue for days after the main shock. There are an estimated 500,000 earthquakes around the world each year. Most are so mild, they are only recorded on scientific instruments, means you can't feel it. So that was another interesting passage, another informational passage about earthquakes and how they are cost. Let's see the questions in the next slide. First one. Seismic waves happen when the volcano erupts. Is this true or false? Of course, it's false because the passage was about, no, sorry, it's true. It was about um, earthquakes. False looks like large cracks in the river. Mm -hmm. It's false. It's cracks in the rock. What are earthquakes from the first paragraph? Earthquakes are the shaking of the ground when energy is released in waves. 
What do we call the first movement of an earthquake? This is the main shock. How many earthquakes around the world each year happen? Mm -hmm. There are about 500,000 earthquakes around the world each year. Next passage, it's a story. Ali and Ahmed were playing basketball in Ali's back garden. Ali threw the ball and it went over the fence. Oh no, cried Ahmed. What now? Don't worry, said Ali. We can go and ask Mr. Salim for the ball. The boys knocked on Mr. Salim's door, but he wasn't there. What's that? said Ahmed. He was looking at a huge glass building. There was don't enter sign on the door. That's a greenhouse. Mr. Salim is a scientist, said Ali. Ahmed went close to the greenhouse and looked through the window. He saw a dark, scary shape and screamed. What's wrong, boys? said Mr. Salim. Sorry, said Ali. Our ball went over the fence. No problem, said Mr. Salim. Let me show you something amazing, he said, and opened the door of the greenhouse. It was very hot in there, and it was full of strange plants. There are, they are from all over the world, said Mr. Salim. This one is a pitcher plant. They are the plants that eat insects, right? said Ahmed. Yes, that's right, said Mr. Salim. That is a plant that scared me, said uh, Ali, that's my newest plant, said Mr. Salim. It's from the Amazon rainforest, and it eats everything. Ali and uh, Ahmed were scared, but Mr. Salim was only joking. They all laughed. Ahmed and Ali had a wonderful time with Mr. Salim and his plants. Let's see the questions that we have about this story. What is the text mainly about? visit to a zoo, a visit to the farm, a visit to a greenhouse. Of course, it was obvious it's about a visit to the greenhouse. Which word is closest to the meaning of the underlined word huge? Huge means very big. Very good. Next. Where were Ali and Ahmed playing? They were playing, it was in the first paragraph, in Ali's back garden. What were Ali and Ahmed playing? They were playing basketball. What is Mr. Salim's job? He was a scientist. Next, we have the vocabulary section. You will have about six words and you have to fill in the blanks or in the gaps with the suitable word from the box. In the box, we have the words paper, save, tab, try, recycle, and environment. Number one, my dad always turn off the, what can you turn off? Turn off the tab when he brushes his teeth. Don't throw that plastic bottle in the rubbish bin because you can, what can you do with the plastic? You can recycle it. Number three, it isn't too late to save the environment. Very good. I need some colored to make this flower colored what? Colored paper. We must all work to what the seas and rivers to mm -hmm, save the seas and the river. I always want to save energy. I always do my best means I always try to save energy. Next set of gaps, we have the word energy, cooking oil, war, cool, take part, and collection. Number one. We get from the sun. Of course, we get energy from the sun. My mom needs some to cook rice. She needs cooking oil. Very good. I am going to what in the selling a spelling the competition. You are going to participate in it. So it means you are going to be a part of it. It means I'm going to take part in that spelling competition. It is what today. Let's go to the beach. You go to the beach when it's Mm -hmm. It's warm. My sister doesn't like hot, wa uh, hot weather. She likes cool weather. Very good. 
This shop has a new. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. And she. This shop has a new. Very good. New collection. Next set of vocabs. You have the word cheat, lie, have fun, share, true, and forgive. Number one. I always want my sandwich with my friend Salim. I always share my sandwich. Layla and Fatma always at the weekend. They always have fun. It's wrong to what in a test you should study hard and do your best. So you shouldn't cheat in a test. He doesn't what he always says the truth. He doesn't lie because he says the truth. Five. What friendship lasts forever? A true friendship. Six. I made a mistake and I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Set. We have the words peace, plan, program, toothache, stomach ache, and fun. Number one. We saw a funny what on TV. Funny program or TV show. I have no what for the next holiday. I have no plan for the next holiday. You didn't plan anything. We all hope to live in live in peace. I have a and I wanted to go to the dentist. If you go to the dentist, it's because you have a toothache. I will eat soup because I have got a uh -huh, very good stomach ache. It will alleviate your pain. You shouldn't make what of others. You shouldn't laugh at them. You shouldn't make fun of others. Next, we have grammar. Let's see and understand it together. Ah, it's vocabs again. My plug doesn't work. It needs a battery. Very good. Why don't we go to the art, art gallery? Good. I like doing arts and arts and the crafts. The boys went to Al Khor, Al Khor to watch the football match, so they went to stadium. Ali went to Doha what, to buy some books. Where do you go to buy some books? You go to mm -hmm, the bookstore or the book fair. Sami is a good boy. He always his food with his friend. He always shares his food with his friend. We should what more to help the environment? We should recycle. It is not true to what in a test. It's not true to cheat in a test. This is about grammar. It's C. Read and choose the correct answer. Number one, I enjoy. After enjoy, we need something with ING. I enjoy going hiking. Number two, the boy is too young, too young too, too small too, too tall too, too old too. Okay, don't forget it. So the boy is too young to ride the horse. Three, a mechanic is someone, someone means person. So the person takes who fixes cars. Four, how money do you have? Money is uncountable. You can't count it. You can't make it plural. You can say monies. If that is the case, you say how much money? Five, I would like apple juice. I would like to drink apple juice. Six, maybe we will special clothes. Maybe we will wear. After well, we put the verb in infinitive. No S, no ING, not in the past, nothing. Just the bare infinitive. Wear. Seven, we promise we... If you promise something, use the word will. We will study hard. Next. My brother isn't old what to drive a car. Isn't old enough. Very good. Fine. She hates <clears throat> her homework on Fridays. Hates, like, enjoys, like, likes, like, loves. We need verb with ing. She hates doing her homework on Fridays. I would like... Again, to protect the environment. 11. The food is too hot. I've told you, too hot too. Too hot to eat. 12. I think robots will 
many things in the future. Well, I told you we need a verb in infinitive, nothing added to it. I think robots will do many things in the future. 13, this coffee is mm -hmm, cold to drink. Mm, very good, too cold to drink. 14, I would like to a cup of tea. I would like to, after two again, we use the infinitive to drink, cup of tea. 15, a pilot, like the driver, like the mechanic, like the doctor, is someone, person, people. So we use who to fly the planes. Next, the writing the question in grammar, do a strong between brackets. Number one, correct the underlined word. Salim have? No, we say Salim has. Number two, put a relative pronoun. Of course, you know the relative pronouns, who, which, that, and where. A school is a place where we learn. Three, I hate make fun of people. Correct it. I hate after hate. Put I in G. I hate making fun of people. Don't forget to remove the E. Number four, use would. You invite your friend to play tennis with you. So say, would you like to play tennis with me? Number five, correct the underlined word. My brother isn't fast enough to win. Uh -huh. This is odd. To win, not to win. Okay. Number six, use future tense. Future means use will. So instead of saying I play football with my friends, say I will play football with my friends. This is how to use the future tense. Number seven, the books are too heavy to carry. That is also wrong. Correct it. These books or the books are too heavy to carry. Very good. Eight, I hate. Mm -hmm. Correct the underlined word play. I hate playing football. Nine, I will eat pizza. Change into negative means that you will not do that. So say, I will not eat pizza or as an abbreviation, use the contraction form of will not make it want eat pizza. It is the same. It's up to you. Both are correct. Then I hate eat chicken and rice. Correct it. I hate eating chicken and rice. 11. It's difficult to walk on ice. Correct the verb. It's difficult to walk on ice. Make it in the full infinitive. 12. It is interesting reading stories. Again, correct the verb. It's interesting to read stories. 13. I am too old to ride a bike. Use enough. You should make it negative. I am not young enough to ride a bike. 14. I am not strong enough to carry these bags. Use two. Means use the opposite of strong. It's weak. So say, I am too weak to carry these bags. 15. You have a set of words. They are unscrambled. Uh, unscramble them or put them in the correct order. Start with he. Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. too tired to play tennis, and that is it. Thank you, my grade student, um, grade five students. Uh, take care of uh, yourselves. Watch this video many times so that you can practice well and be well prepared for the exam. And see you, inshallah.